Hey guys, today we are going to be exploring an app called Duet Display, which allows you to add a second screen to a Mac using external devices such as another Mac or Android devices. Basically any, any device, even a Chromebook can support this. And it also supports sharing key, key, keyboards and, ma and mouses. For example, you have a Mac Mini that you want to control without having a keyboard or mouse. You can use Duet Display to share a MacBook Air's keyboard and mouse with the Mac Mini without actually sharing your screen to the Mac Mini. So it's like an external screen, but when you move over your mouse, it's a whole different computer. So let's get into it. This can be a perfect op opportunity to maximize your workspace if you have an old, older MacBook lying around and want to give it a new use, or just an old like, device like a um, old tablet or something, old iPad, old Android, or something that has absolutely no use, or even an old laptop. You can connect to a monitor if it has an HDMI port. You can do the same with a tablet using a USB to HDMI adapter. Anyways, Duet Display is an app that allows you to use one device as a secondary monitor for another. It works with Mac, PCs, iPads, and iPhones. In this video, I'll walk you through setting it up so that the MacBook Air can, can control the Mac Mini direct, directly. Also, one note, um, if you want to use this app in order to have multiple second displays, that will not work, I'm sorry. They might add that in the future. Also, one of the keynotes about this app is that it is paid and as a subscription, but you can get a free trial. And I think there are options to um, buy it one-time payment, so yes. One of my most popular uses for Duet Display is for example, you have two MacBooks or just like a tablet in a, in a MacBook or just like a Windows machine in a tablet. And you're at like a library or something and you don't want to like do the hassle of like bringing a ginormous monitor. So you just use a little tablet as a second screen so you can maximize productivity on the go. That's my favorite, favorite use for it. I'm a little extreme so I brought my entire Mac Mini to the library the other, other, other day and my um... MacBook and I use the MacBook as a second screen for my Mac and use one of their monitors and it turned out pretty nice. It's the university library so I had a lot of fun. So, so the first thing you want to do is install Duet Display. First click the link in the descri description and then click the download button at the top. It has it for Mac OS, Windows, and you do not want to use the Mac OS for 10 or 11 dot lower or it will not let you do it and there is Android and Google Play. The plans are up here they do have like yearly um, monthly if you do the business one and they're per month per year. There also are lifetime access ones that are obviously more expensive but they give you lifetime access and they do have remote access plans but that's a whole nother topic we'll cover a different day once you have downloaded the file um, double click it and go through the prompts I will not show that because I have already installed it and it's pretty simple you just agree to the terms and you have to and you just have to sign with the account you use and I will see you on the other side now that I have switched to my mobile camera, I will show you the extend mode. So like, for example, if you click extend on the Mac, I mean the host, for example, or just click it on the device you're using, it will extend the other screen, not extend this screen to that one. It would do the opposite. It will extend the one you're clicking on. So, yes. This one is now going through the display process and this one should pull up Duet soon and then extend the other display and this will extend the Mac Mini. Now that it's extended, you can see on the Mac Mini that you can change the resolution and different aspects of the second screen and you can drag apps between them in any which way you would need to for productivity and such. So you can drag between them, 
do whatever you need to for productivity and things. You can use Retina. You might have a display that has Retina. I don't, but yeah. And now I'm going to show you the other versions. So disconnect this, disconnect that. So mirroring the display mirrors the Mac Mini. That will mirror the Mac Mini. Then this screen will show the Mac Mini exactly what's showing on that screen. So yes, this is mirroring the Mac Mini. It's the same thing. Then keyboard and mouse doesn't share your screen. This is my one of my most favorites. It shares the mouse and keyboard while keeping the screen the same. So let's say my Mac Mini doesn't have this keyboard. Well, it doesn't have an Apple keyboard, but you get the idea. And you can change if it's left, top, or bottom. We'll change it to top because it's t on the top of this air. And then if I scroll it up, you can see that the mouse is now on the Mac Mini without sharing a screen, and they're on different hosts, which is interesting. However, you can't, like, drag and drop between the two because, obviously, they are different hosts, but you get the idea. And same thing if I do it from the Mac Mini. I can share my actual keyboard that is USB, where I can choose this mouse that I have and then share it between the two devices, which is so cool. I actually love that. <laughs> and now that you have Duet just set, set up, install it on all your devices. Install it on your old Android tablet, your iPad. The iPad is one of my favorites you can do because you can use it as a drawing tablet, which is amazing. <laughs> And, yeah, and you can choose it here. They support Chrome OS, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, basically any device you would have besides Linux, but you can always run a VM or something. So have fun with this.